Negative speech is dangerous, but you may wonder, why is it so dangerous? Let's consider a Bible example that shows just how powerful negative speech can be and why we must be careful about it today. Please turn with me to Exodus chapter 12 and notice verse 29. Exodus 12, 29. Then at midnight, Jehovah struck down every firstborn in the land of Egypt, from the firstborn of Pharaoh, who was sitting on his throne, to the firstborn of the captive, who was in the prison, and every firstborn of the animals. In this verse, God's people had just witnessed the tenth plague Jehovah brought upon the Egyptians for refusing to let the Israelites go free. God's people witnessed these events and saw what Jehovah could do. What else did they see? Let's look at verse 51 of the same chapter. On this very day, Jehovah brought the Israelites along with their multitudes out of the land of Egypt. After being slaves to the Egyptians for 430 years, The Israelites saw Jehovah deliver them, but it didn't stop there. Turn over to Exodus chapter 14, verse 29, and notice what else they saw Jehovah do. Exodus 14, verse 29. But the Israelites walked on dry ground in the midst of the seabed, and the waters formed a wall on their right hand, and on their left. In the verses that we've read so far, uh, no, when they, after the Israelites were freed from Egypt, Pharaoh changed his mind and chased after them with his powerful army. It seemed as if he had them trapped at the Red Sea, but the Israelites saw Jehovah save them by parting the waters and allowing them to walk across to the other side. And to add to that, notice what else the Israelites saw with their own eyes. This last example at Psalms 136 and notice verse 15. At Psalms 136, 15. He shook off Pharaoh and his army into the Red Sea for his loyal love endures forever. In the verses that we've read so far, the Israelites had just witnessed the 10 plagues God brought upon the Egyptians, and they were freed from slavery. They also saw the Red Sea's waters being parted and the mighty Egyptian army being destroyed by Jehovah. After seeing all of this, can you imagine how strong their faith in Jehovah must have been? But notice what happened to their faith when they heard the negative speech from some of the men sent to spy out the promised land. Please turn with me to Deuteronomy chapter 1, and notice verse 28. It reads, What kind of place are we going to? Our brothers made us lose heart by saying, They were people greater and taller than we are. And their cities are great and fortified to the heavens. And we saw the sons of Anakim there. Yes, after all they saw Jehovah do for them, they allowed all it took, rather, was a small amount of negative speech to shatter that faith in Jehovah. And because of that, none of them were allowed to enter into the promised land. What's the lesson for us? We are living in the last days of this wicked system of things. We have examples in the Bible to help us build our faith in Jehovah. And we're getting instruction on how to continue building our faith in him. But just as it happened with the Israelites, negative speech can shatter that faith in Jehovah. And it could cause us to lose Jehovah's favor. So let us all 
try our best to always avoid uttering or listening to negative speech.